Two mountaineers are preparing to reach the highest point on Earth by climbing Mount Everest. They're doing it in memory of one of their best friends who died while serving in Afghanistan. It was Royal Marine John Thornton's childhood dream to conquer the mountain and now his friends are determined to take on the challenge and to raise money for help the heroes in the process. Victoria Davis reports. These two men are about to face the toughest challenge of their lives as they prepare to climb Mount Everest. They're doing it in memory of their close friend John Thornton, who was killed in Afghanistan by a roadside bomb. We stood together as young 14, 15 year olds and agreed that one day we would stand top of the world together uh, and we would climb Everest. When John died in 2008, um, obviously hit me very hard and it's, 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 it's in memory of him, it's in honour of him. Royal Marine Matt Snook and Peter Sunnox have just returned from Argentina after climbing Mount Aconcagua, the highest mountain in the southern hemisphere. Now back in the Midlands, they're training for two hours a day to reach their physical peak. But the hills in Wolverhampton are a world away from the mountains of the Himalayas, where one in 12 people who attempt to climb Everest never come back. I think it's just getting yourself mentally prepared more than anything, knowing that you're going to be faced with potentially minus 50 degrees C, um, very strong winds, avalanches, uh, ice falls. I think you just put that to the back of your mind and know that you just got to take each day as it comes and keep aiming and pushing for the summit. To reach the highest point on earth would fulfil a lifetime ambition for these two, but they'd also be the first people to climb Everest for Help for Heroes. To take uh, the Help for Heroes emblem up there is an absolutely great honour for us uh, and to, uh, to highlight the work they're doing for our troops um, and that means so much to us. Matt and Pete hope to raise £100,000 for Help for Heroes and the John Thornton Young Achievers Foundation. They know the climb in May is going to be tough, but say raising money for other soldiers after the loss of their friend is enough motivation to keep them going. Victoria Davis in Wolverhampton for Central Tonight. It's dedication, isn't it? Running in the snow like that. Follow their progress yes. with interest. Wish Good them luck. Good luck to them. No.